Hey everybody, this is David Wells, and I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page inside WordPress with the default landing page template. So, once you have the plugin installed, go to Add New Landing Page, and you'll see this menu here. As you can see, there's a ton of different options that you can kind of like weed through. If you don't have any of these templates in your plugin, uh, you can download them from the store. Uh, but the plugin comes with some base templates and we're looking at the current theme here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to name this landing page. Hit enter. That'll save the page. Now we have the default settings up here. So I'm just going to add in a heading. I'm going to add in some content as well. And I'll show you a little trick here. So there is a insert default content. So I'm going to go ahead and click that that will insert uh, kind of some dummy text that I could edit. And this is a landing page kind of template um, that I'd recommend following just because it's easy to read um, and we've tested this in terms of conversion rates and what have you. So now that I have my default content in the um, landing page, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a form in the landing page form area. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new form so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the standard form here. You can edit the fields and what have you in here or delete anything. So I'm gonna remove last name and there's the, what our form looks like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name this, so landing page test. Give them a redirect URL and we'll just go ahead and redirect them to our home page here. And then I wanna get notified, so David at inboundnow.com. So notify me of anybody filling out this form. There are some other form options, so changing the layout, changing how the labels look, um, changing the submit button text, so get this now, exclamation point. And you can customize the width as well. So there we have it. So we've created our new form. I'm gonna go ahead and click save and insert. So now we have our form shortcode in the landing page form area. You can use uh, Gravity Forms or Contact Form 7 or whatever form tool you want to use. Uh, we only support our form tool um, just for ease of our minds. Uh, it's very hard to support every form plugin out there. Cool, so now that that is inserted, um, there are some options down here as well. So you can choose where you want to actually insert the form and conversion area. By default, it's gonna insert it into the sidebar. And just as a note, the default theme landing page uses your th current themes single.php file. So if you wanna make edits to that, um, you would create a single, uh, a landing page dash single.php file in your theme. And there are some documents on that on docs.inboundnow.com. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave those. Um, there also is a setting to hide or show the navigation. So we're gonna hide that. That's something that you wanna do on a landing page anyway, to increase conversion rates and not let the person out of the landing page when they're on it. And this uses, if this isn't working with your theme, um, that means your theme is using some sort of other navigation menu than the core WordPress ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and update this and let's have a look at our landing page. Cool, so here is our landing page using the default 2010 theme. Obviously your theme might look different, um, but you'll notice that there is no form here. Um, and that's because we need to set up the sidebar widget. So your single.php file is using a specific sidebar and we might not have that set up. So I'm gonna go back into the options here and go under appearance and then widgets. So let's have a look. So inside of widgets here, you'll notice that there is a landing page sidebar that's added by the plugin. Um, sometimes we can add the default widget, sometimes we cannot. It depends on what theme you're using. So if this is empty, like it is right here, what you're gonna wanna do is drag this landing page conversion area widget over to the sidebar here, and then go ahead and save that. Now that I have that saved, if we go back into the landing page, what we will see 
is that form there. So there is our form in our landing page. Um, and that's it in a nutshell. If you're trying to make customizations to the landing page, again, what I recommend is creating a single .php file. And if I show you here real quickly in docs, what you'd want to do is jump to the landing page docs and under the developer documentation, uh, creating a custom theme integrated single landing page, single dash landing page .php. There's an entire video tutorial on how to do this with your current theme. And you can go ahead and set that up. Basically it's copying the existing single.php file, creating a new file in your theme that's single-landingpage.php and using that. Other customizations, if you're not trying to get that in depth with creating your own theme uh, enabled landing page, what you can do is uh, hide some of this stuff with CSS, so custom CSS. So if I right click and inspect any element on the page, so let's say, so for example, I don't want entry posted date uh, on this page. So this has a class of entry dash meta and I recommend using Google Chrome to do this stuff. But what I can do is actually copy this rule. So I'm gonna copy this rule right here and let's launch the visual editor so we can see what we're working with here. So here we have a minified version of the landing page options. I actually recommend using this to create your page so you can see what you're working with. And what I'm gonna do is scroll all the way down to the bottom under custom CSS. So under custom CSS, you can go ahead and paste in this rule. And so this is controlling a bunch of different things, but actually what we wanna do is change this to display colon none, and then we'll do a important, which means absolutely this area will disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update all, and this will reload, and there we have it, that area is gone. So I wanna remove two other pieces here. So let's do the same thing. So right click and inspect the elements, and let's see here, uh, I wanna make sure that we target the entire thing. And if you hover over the elements, it'll show you what you're actually selecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this rule right here. Scroll back down to the custom CSS, paste this in, and again, display none important. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end of your rule and make sure that you have an opening and closing brace under your rule. And then there's one more thing I wanna hide and that is the powered by WordPress. Even though we love WordPress, we want to keep it out of our landing page right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the class site info. Um, and what I can do is for classes, it's a period and then whatever the name is. So again, we'll do opening close brace display none important. So and for IDs, so like, for example, if I was trying to hide this entire footer, I would copy that ID. And instead of doing a period, I would do a hash symbol and then the braces and whatever CSS rule I was trying to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and update these. And there you have it. So we have our areas hidden um, and customized for a nice clean landing page. The idea is to have your landing page, uh, get rid of all the distractions and links out of your site. So that means removing your footer, hiding the navigation, and making sure that when they're on this landing page, you're convincing them with some copy to fill out this form and become a lead for your site.